Okay, Travis, I want to get you your next update video on me and show you what we're doing. Um, kind of give you a little bit of an update, what we've been working on, and kind of where we are in the process. So at this point, uh, Mia's been through basic obedience. Uh, she has been through e-collar conditioning. Uh, she has been retrieving live birds. Uh, she has heard gunfire. Um, and I have uh, been working on teaching her how to hunt, meaning how to quarter, um, how to work back and forth in the grass, how to put her nose down and actually search. Um, so far, I've been very pleased with Mia. Uh, she's been doing a great job. Um, no significant complaints at all. Um, so today what we're doing is part of that obedience command that we taught her at the beginning was we taught her the woe command. Woe simply means to hold still while standing. Now today what we're going to do is we're introducing this. This is actually the first full day she's seen this. Um, we're going to be doing woe with live birds in front of her. Now, I want to show you this little trick because it's a great training tool if you ever decide to do it. Um, you can use live adult pigeons. Any pigeon will do this. I mean, and I have, uh, these are flight conditioned birds. They fly very, very well. Um, but obviously, I need the bird to stay put so that we can have a positive contact with Mia. So what you do is you take their two wings and you fold them like this. So you fold it once and then fold it twice, and it will incapacitate the bird. So it cannot fly. Now, it can use its feet a little bit, but essentially the bird will hold still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set the bird down here in the mowed grass where she can't miss it. Um, and the purpose of this is to teach her the command to whoa when she knows there's a bird there. Now, today we actually have almost no breeze, uh, but it is cool and dry. So um, we're going to be doing this more off of sight than off of smell. But what I'm trying to teach Mia today is stop when you recognize a bird. That is the purpose of today's lesson. So I'm just going to take the bird, set it out here, and then I'm going to get Mia and show you what I'm doing with her leash because I am going to use what I call the woe leash uh, to help her um, form into a nice point. Um, and she has been all kinds of excited about this today. She thinks this game is awfully fun. And most dogs will, will do this drill for a little while before they get pretty tired of it. Now, I'm letting her drag me here because she knows that's the bird. All right. Now, right here, she's sitting down. We obviously, we don't want her to do that. We want her to stand. Um, so what we need to do is we need to help her understand that I want her to woe, not to sit. So the way that we do that is we're going to take the leash, and I've got a nice long six-foot leash here. I'm going to go under her belly and loop it back through, just a very simple loop to hold up her flank. So what this will do is this will allow me to apply just a little bit of resistance, and if she starts to sit down, we can reinforce with the woe command and help keep her back end up. So good girl. So let's creep a little closer, baby. I'm letting her be out in front. That's perfectly fine. Good girl. This is not heel. This is whoa. Good girl. And right now she's engaged with the bird. We would call this a bird contact. Uh, she knows where the bird is. Whoa. Good whoa. Good. Good whoa. And at the beginning, most dogs flag. And what we mean by flag is she's wagging her tail. That is okay. Um, at the beginning, we're not going to fight. Um, tail movement yet because we're just trying to establish hold still and don't sit down when you find the bird whoa whoa good girl whoa whoa nope so we're just trying to tweak her mechanics here and again for her first day of doing whoa with the bird this is very good i'm very happy with this um i want her to stand here and be focused, paying attention to the bird, even though she's looking back over at uh, one of my kids. Good girl. But she knows where the bird is, and she's locked in on it, and that's good. So now I'm going to call her off. Here. Good. Good. Here. Good. And now we're going to re-engage from a slightly different angle, as if we were on a hunt, and maybe we couldn't quite find a bird, and we needed to come back in from another angle. So we're going to come in from over here. Around the tree here, 
Give her a slightly different look. Whoa. Whoa. Good girl. So there's no least pressure on her 99% of the time here. There's, I'm not holding her. I'm holding the leash, but that's only to make sure she doesn't lunge and grab the bird. So this is very good. I'm very, uh, this is a good sign that she's going to point um, without too much difficulty because she is cooperating with me and stopping on the bird. The good girl. Whoa. Good. Whoa. Good girl. Good. Right there, there's some good intensity. Really focused in on the bird. That's what I want to see. Good. <laughs> That's what we want. We want her to think she can get it. Good girl. She's got plenty of drive to go after. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let the bird fly away and let her chase as much as she wants to chase at the moment. So we're rewarding her by letting her loose. Once the bird comes up, then she can move. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with Mia. She's coming along fine. Um, you know, we still got a long way to go on the pointing mechanics um, because we need to do this off of scent. And unfortunately, some of that has to do with um, the weather. Obviously, we can't do it when it's too wet uh, or when it's too hot uh, because that's not safe for the dog or not good scent conditions. So we can't do everything. But um, as far as like making progress towards being a gun dog, she's doing great. Mia's a nice dog.